Greetings, this is Spec Ops 56 and my number one cameraman, John. And today we're bringing you round number six of the Great Can Chili Taste Off. I have, since the last round, managed to add three more uh, brands to the pile. And I'll go over what those are. Uh, one is a store brand from a store that I had never run across before and uh, I just happened to spot it when we were in another part of town and so I thought I'd go in and look to see what they had and they had this. This is the Hargis House Chili with Beans and this is the store brand of a store called the Save-A-Lot grocery store. There again I had never I'd never heard of them before so it should be interesting. Then, I have one that has been requested quite often and I had a hard time finding, but I finally got a can of Stag Silverado Beef Chili with Beans. I got this from Amazon.com. Also, the other new one that I got is a brand that I'm not familiar with at all called Nally Original Chili with Beans. I also got this one from Amazon.com. So today, <clears throat> we're going to pick a couple and do the taste test. So John, you make your pick. I'm going to pick Southgate. Southgate. That's this that one? That one, yes. Okay, that's this one. Okay, Southgate Chili with Beans. That one is uh, from the Dollar General. I guess that's their store brand, the Dollar General. And I'm going to pick one that was recommended by one of my subscribers. I'm going to go with the Chili with Bean Roadhouse from Campbell's Chunky. <laughs> so that one I ended up getting from Walgreens. Okay, so that's our two competitors for today. Now we're going to head into the kitchen and get everything ready and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back here in the Spec Ops kitchen and I'll show you what these look like in the can. Let me open them. This is the Family Dollar Store brand, the Southgate. Okay, and the chunky chili had the easy open pull tab there, and this is what it looks like in the can. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and put them in pot, heat it up, and then until it's, when it's time to start tasting, we will be right back for that. All right, the chili has been warmed up sufficiently, and now we're ready for the taste test. As usual, our guinea pigs are myself, John, and my wife, the famous invisible woman. I think we'll start with the Southgate. It looks like in the bowl after it's been heated up. Okay. And I'll give that to you. Just hold on. It's time to eat it. Some for John. You might as well come on over here. Alright. Oh, 
else I need to hold on. Oh, no. That's hard for you to do. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I love my chili. Okay. All right, let's uh, have a sniff and see how it smells and see what we smell. Mm. I smell the chili powder, but it's not strong. Mm -hmm. I do too. Not like some of the others. I think I actually can smell the beans. Maybe. What do you smell? I know. It's almost bland, except there is just enough of the chili powder seasoning to not make it bland. Yeah, there's not, there's not, yeah, there's not a lot of, a uh, lot of smell to it. Mm -hmm. uh, it is, a, it is kind of a bland smell. What about you? What are you smelling? I smelled the chili powder right off the bat, right. and yeah, it's you, got pepper in it, I believe. How do you think it looks? Plenty of beans. Plenty of beans. Plenty of broth. Uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Some of the beef. Uh, yeah. Anyway, yeah, turn it like that. A, well, I was trying to look at the spoon. That's yeah. all right. Yeah. Anyway, it's it, it's got the little pieces of beef in it, and they are pretty little. Yeah. From what I can see. Let's all uh, have a taste and see what we can tell you from that. I like it's got a decent chili taste to it. It's not overly spicy. Yeah. Beans are well cooked, mm -hmm. tender. Most of these seem to be. And they, uh, not a lot of beef flavor in it because there's not a lot of beef in it. They have just real tiny little pieces. Uh, it is a it is a mild chili powder flavor. Yeah. What do you think? This would be fine for someone who just loathes flame coming out coming out the mouth flavor. Right. Yeah, but right. still would like a, a hint of chili flavor. Yeah, there's there's absolutely no heat in no, this that I can detect. Just very mild chili powder flavor. Um, can you detect any other flavors? I can't. It could stand for some more meat. Mm -hmm. Right, Gray? But as far as the flavor, this is, this is, um... Decent enough. Oh yeah, perfectly tolerable. Um, yeah, it, it gives you a, a almost blank canvas for you to improve it, you know, however you would want to. You know, it isn't going to clash with anything that you put in it. Mm -hmm. so, you know, just a very mild, you know, bland, uh, generic chili. Okay. All right, on to the Campbell's Chunky Chili. Hold on to your spoons. I see right off the bat already that this one has more, more meat in it with uh, bigger pieces. Not a whole lot bigger, but bigger pieces. Okay, there's yours. Yeah, I got it out of order, okay. Okay, that's what that looks like. That one is yours. Okay. So, uh, take a smell, see what you can detect. Smell no chili seasoning in it myself. I don't either. Right. I don't smell a bit of chili powder. I smell onion and tomato. Yeah, That's I, it. I see peppers and uh, tomatoes. Mm, yeah. I definitely smell the tomato and I smell the onion. 
Now you can see the tomato and onion. Not much at all. But as far as seasoning, eh, you know, no. And uh, hopefully I can get this where you'll be able to see it. Uh, we'll try. There is the meat chunks. And the and beans seem are to bigger. be bigger too in this one. Yeah, they do. And darker. Mm -hmm. So let's have a taste. Hot. Hot temperature wise, you know. Mm -hmm. Not spicy wise. Mm. Mm. To me, it's rather bland. You're right, it is. Doesn't have much of a chili. I was expecting more of a flavor. As far, yeah, as far as flavor goes, it is bland. Uh, you know, seasoning wise, the tomato and onion, eh, whatever. You could taste that, but let's just say this: if you mix it with the Southgate, it would improve the chip, the chunky. Well, I taste. Uh, you say that every time. Well, <laughs> she's got a point on this one, though. Well, I can taste. I taste the tomato. I taste the onion. I can taste a little bit of spice, maybe pepper. I'm not sure. A little, a little bit of spice and certainly salt. I can taste salt. Oh yeah. Okay, it's not overly salty, but you can definitely taste the salt. Um, the beans, as usual, are well cooked. That they are. These do look like kidney beans, whereas the other ones did the, not. The meat they were chunk, smaller. Yeah, the meat chunks are bigger and tastier. Really, the meat chunks in the yellow one were so small you could barely really taste any, any of it. Um, yeah, I'm tasting something a little spicy in here. I'm just not sure what, what it would be. It's like a little bit of heat on the back end. Exactly. That's, just that's what a little. What about you? Yeah, it's, it's almost like it's seasoned but still remaining bland, if that makes <laughs> sense. Yeah, I understand what you're saying. All right. Well, let's um, let's cast our votes. Uh, which one do you pick? The Southgate. The Southgate. Which one Southgate. Do you pick? Southgate. Well, I'm gonna be the contrarian again. Uh oh. And I'm gonna pick <laughs> the Campbell's chili with beans. Yeah. Um, I, I just I kind of like the taste better. Uh, but this is a taste off. So two against one. The winner of round six is the Family Dollar Store Southgate Chili with Beans uh, store brand. Yep. So just as usual, you can't overlook the store brands because a lot of times they are as good or better than the name brand. And uh, yeah, well, let me see here and I'll tell you what you got to Dollar General. Okay, Dollar General. Yeah. Uh, I know it was one of those dollar. Store type I think that was the one there. Yeah, you're right. Dollar General, my mistake. Not family dollar. Dollar General. And the cost of the Southgate from Dollar General was one dollar. That's a pretty good deal. The cost of the Campbell's Chunky Chili with Beans from Walgreens, as soon as I find it here. As soon as I find it here, there it is. From Walgreens was three dollars. So, <laughs> yeah, you know, it, like I said, I like the taste of this better, but I don't like it two dollars a can better. Your mileage may vary. All right, well that takes care of round number six. I hope that you're finding this chili taste off series to be helpful for you. And making your food storage decisions. Until we get to round number seven, this is Spec Ops 56, my faithful Indian companion, John Toe, and my wife, the famous Invisible Woman, all saying so long and bon appetit.